So today I'm gonna to give you kind of a little period of instruction on how to collect some DNA. Um, when you open the kit, obviously, you're gonna see that we have the collection jar, which is where the DNA is gonna be stowed. We'll have an actual swab pad, which is what you're gonna to use to actually collect the DNA to store in the jar. Now, other than those contents, obviously, latex gloves, which I already had them on prior to beginning. The importance of having these gloves on is so you don't cross-contaminate the DNA. That way, the DNA that's collected is strictly collected for the individual who's in the program, and that way there is no cross-contamination and it doesn't affect the effectiveness of the dogs when they come out the track. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously open the jar. When you cut open the packet, you're gonna see the swab. There's gonna be a blue line that's located See if you guys can see it in a little bit so you can see that blue line right there, okay? The importance of that blue line is that needs to face your body at all times. The collection point, we're gonna utilize the armpits. And as you can see, once again, specifically focus on that blue line, it needs to face the body. You apply it to the armpit, top point. From top to bottom, swab the armpit. We're gonna do that a total of 10 times. Once we've done that and we've gotten them 10 reps in, we're going to take and we're going to fold it in half, just as such, and we'll fold it another quarter, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and take it and we're going to place it inside of the DNA jar, okay? Once we've placed it in there, very important, this is a very important part, once you get that lid on there, you need to make sure that it's tight. Now, I have sealed it and I have closed it and my DNA is in here. At this point, you cannot break the seal, so it must stay sealed, okay? Next process, obviously, how do we do that and how do we maintain the integrity of it is we're gonna come out and we're gonna have, which is also inside of your kit, and you'll see it, a red tickered mark with the Evidence Canine logo on there, and we're gonna peel, okay? Once we peel, we're gonna go ahead and apply it, and we're gonna go ahead and just stick that right on there to the top of the lid and push down. Make sure we get a good, nice stick there. The key is to make sure that it's wedging right over that jar. So if you look closely, that's what it needs to look like once we have that seal, okay? Once that's been applied, you, there'll be another kind of sticker label inside and it reads Scent Preservation Kit labeled as such, okay? These kits have a 10-year shelf life, 10 years, guaranteed by Sense Evidence Canine Manufacturer, 10 years. But in order to maintain and preserve that validity on that expiration date, obviously we need to know when we collected the, day, the actual DNA. So that's a very important. Once you're done and you have filled out that card with that information, we're just gonna go ahead and take it and we're also gonna place it, and I'll show you here in a minute, right in the front of the jar, and we're gonna paste over that red tab. That red tab is maintaining the actual discipline of the actual DNA in there, right? It's preserving those contents, so we know we're preserving the integrity of it, right? That way we know whether somebody cracked the seal or not, who wasn't supposed to. This is what we'll do. So that sticker with all that information is gonna go right over the top of that orange red tab, okay? This is how your kit should look. Once you've gone through the steps, the proper process, see how my gloves are still on until I've put that last sticker on there, sealed it properly, and once we're here, then we're good to go. You definitely need to keep it out of heat, so a garage wouldn't be a good idea, even a common drawer in the kitchen wouldn't be a good idea. The best place to preserve these is in your refrigerator. The cold in the refrigerator, not the freezer, but the cold, will help preserve that DNA and intensify it. Go ahead and put the kit back there, save it. Once you got it, you know it's back there, 10 years, and you're good to go.